We just refinished this cabinet a couple months ago. With less than a month before he retires, Bob Kowalski tells me he's taking on the little jobs. Stuff that you need a little finesse with. But the truth of the matter is the Burns Steakhouse maintenance man has had his hands in every big job at the restaurant for the last 50 years. This room was a lot of fun to do. This is a floating ceiling here. It's suspended from the roof timbers. The 83-year-old was hired by the restaurant's namesake in 1971 to be a carpenter. How has it changed? <laughs> <laughs> well, they found out I could do mechanic work, so then I was fixing a tractor, rebuilding tractor engines and transmissions. As Bern Laxer would buy the best wine at auctions, Bob would be there when it was delivered. Then they'd come in on the semi-truck and park next to the wine cellar over there and we'd be out there unloading it, carrying it in. In the famed dessert room, Bob did that too. The designer gave us a picture with no, no measurements and said, make it look like this, and, and we did. Yeah, here's Burn. On a tour of the room, Bob explained how Byrne wanted it built from old redwood wine casks he had shipped in from California. There were huge tanks, you know, like 16 feet tall. We had unloaded them from a semi. They had all the sediment on them. So we had to clean the sediment off of them. And uh, it was quite a job. It stuck pretty good. And Bob stuck around another 40 years after that. The last of the original crew to retire, he says he'll be back, but this time to enjoy his favorite thing on the menu. Oh boy, macadamia nut ice cream. In Tampa, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. Bob says when he joined the staff in 1971, the steakhouse was much smaller than it is today. That's because Bern Laxer bought up the shopping plaza next to the original building. And as Bob says, they would come in and tear out walls and put things up the way Bern wanted it.